Hey, uh, good morning. So today I would like to share uh, communion and just something that's on my heart. So um, yeah, so I'll just get started. So um, one of the universal problems that uh, all humankind has is, uh, I think I would say, is uh, death. I think that's something that's um, universal to uh, all of us. We all have had, you know, unfortunately some loved one pass away, or familiar with that, I know myself personally, my dad passed away about five years ago. And um, that's something we all face, and that kind of makes us all think, apart from religion or anything that we learn, we learn, we all are apprehensive. So what happens after? Do we just stop? Is there like oblivion? Or is there life after that? And I think when we look at Jesus, he had a solution for this problem. And that's something I want to just read quickly. And so I'm just going to go to John 11, uh, chapter 11, verse 38 to 35. So I'll just read what the Bible says here. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the, en the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you, I thank you um, that you heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of those people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and the cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, Take off the grave clothes and let him go. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary had seen what Jesus did, put their faith in him, and put their faith in him. So, essentially, Jesus had a solution for this problem we all had, he displayed it and showed that he was able to raise someone for the dead from the dead. And I just think that that must have been amazing to be there and see someone die and basically come back to life. And I think that would perk everybody's ear and be like, hey, this man is able to raise something, someone from the dead he has a solution to our problem like we don't have to fear death anymore he can actually has a power to make someone who's dead come back to life so i think that must have been pretty amazing i just think of myself if i saw someone die and they just came back to life because someone else had the power to make them come back to life i think that would be something that i would want to know what is this man talking about and what is is, is he all about? And I think that's the main thing that Jesus was trying to do. He knew that he needed to do something powerful to show that he is the son of God so that people may believe in him. And because of it, a lot of people believe in him. Until this day, many people believe in him because of the things that are written about him. Um, and essentially, Jesus had the power to rise people from the dead, but not only rise people from the dead, to rise himself from the dead because he died and came back to life. Um, after he was crucified. And essentially that's the reason why we're able to have hope that we can have life through him. Although we may die, our body may be dead, but we will keep living on after. And that fixes the problem that we all have, that all humankind has. Jesus fixed the problem essentially through his sacrifice on the cross. So, I'd just like to pray uh, briefly for the bread and the wine. Uh, so, dear, dear God, 
thank you so much for uh, what you've done for all of us and the way that you you provided a solution for the fact that we may die but you will always you you promise us give us a promise of life after that and you show it by the way that you raised Lazarus from the dead and the way that you raised yourself from the dead and because of your sacrifice that you went on the cross and died and came back again now we have we have hope to have life after after we die uh, which is pretty something pretty amazing for all of us who've lost loved ones we, and that we know that as we put our faith in you we believe in you and then we repent we change and then we follow you we can and we obey you we can have uh, and try our best basically we can have a uh, life after death which is something that and we can be reunited with our loved one and then see them again and that, which is something amazing so just name we pray thank you so much for what you've done for us